Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take off the outer cover. Yeah, it's nothing much there. I'm setting it on top of the telescoping outer cover for the moment. This is the hive body that is full of honey that I'd like to take a few frames from. So I'm going to first open it up, make sure that the honey is there and is capped. And then I will pull out four frames. As I'm pulling these out, I'm going to look and see if I see any sign of a waggle dance. That doesn't have much. That's got lots of honey, but it's not capped. Huh. That frame has a lot of honey, capped honey on one side but it's almost empty on the other. I must not have gotten that in enough. So I'm going to take that one. Now that's lovely capped honey on both sides. I'm going to take that one. It's loaded with honey, but it's not fully capped. I'm just going to take two of those frames. Yeah, just got stung through my glove. Okay, now I'm going to Try to use the blower to get the bees off of these two frames of honey that I'm going to try to harvest. Put a wet towel over this to help keep the bees from noticing that smell. I'm going to take it over to our secondary staging area and I'll be back. I think these are are okay to take in. I can't get, I'll never be able to get all the bees out. Okay, never having done this before, I'm not quite sure exactly how to do it, but we are slicing the cappings off of the, with a little motion back and forth, yeah. This is the, these cappings are highly valued for their uh, chapstick or lip balm, I should say, and uh, candles. I, I can't resist taking a little bit of this and chewing on it. Mm. Now, some of these Places are hard to get to with a knife. That's why the uh, that's why we have this other tool called the capping scratcher. Let me do that to 
open those cells up to, so the honey can be extracted. Do that along the now bees cap the honey when it's just the right moisture content. It's less than about 18.6% water. We will later strain all this uh, these cappings get both the honey and the I've got to remember which way this goes. Okay, so it's got to be the, the foot leading. Now you can see this one, I didn't have the things pushed well enough together, so there's a lot of unevenness here. So I completed my first honey harvest. I took 13 and a half medium frames and got about 45 pounds of honey. This is the holding tank. The honey drained from the extractor through a stainless steel strainer and into the tank here. Now I'm going to put a bottle on my digital scale, then I'll Zero out the digital scale, open up the spigot, and bottle some honey. These are 12 ounce hexagonal bottles, and I'll slow it down when it gets close to the top, and let it run a little more. So now I'll take another jar and do it again.